welcome back to buy spring I see we've been busy we've got quite a bit of money and that is because we've been doing a lot of contract work so as we get back to the farm I was going to show some clips of us doing some contract work getting the bells sold because we did mostly a contracts but we did some size bells and yeah, that led us to quite a bit of money, so I'm going to show those as we head back to the farm, and then we will resume from there. And here we are back at the farm and what we're going to do first of all actually is pull it into this field over here because we need to start windrowing the rest of our grass. A bit of wood there was that. Yep. Let's shove you. If we can, just somewhere over here. So yeah, we've been busy, so if we have a look, we did 123 bells, 8 contracts. And uh, we're not going to do any more contracts for the time being. I may just go back to just doing the hay contracts, but besides from that, harvesting contracts are tempting, but they are potatoes. So if we go to our finances, so overall, we got 75 grand from the contracts themselves, 172 grand from the bells, and some expenses like for our cows and that. 11,000 in running cost sites because we've gone and repaired a lot of our equipment as well. Also, we did collect some collectibles, so we're up to 19 collectibles collected. A lot of that was just picked up off camera. As I was going past some contract fields and that. Uh, it's just one of those things, it's not an issue. I will try in the future show them on camera, but a lot of them build in, so like the farmyards and that, there's at least two or three around each farm area, I knew that for sure. I'm actually going to go around and show an example of one perhaps I haven't picked up. Think of which farm I've been to. Perhaps the one on the bottom corner and I have been to that one. But yeah, so in terms of the fields, what we've got to do, we've got to do this field 62, 61, and 60. Also, off camera, I've been well, busy just cut this field up and accidentally went around the wind road in it. And same 63, I've done that. Did not mean to do that off camera, but or in between episodes, but it is what it is. But yeah, we got get a lot of work done, a lot of silage to do. And I'm half tempted to get a all in one bather, so in terms of if I could do the bathing and the silage wrapping, so if we have a look at bathers. So like the Fent Combi, that's one. Unfortunately there is no Deutz for one. No, that's just a square bailer on its own. Unless we do something like the Quick Bell and make it Deutz for Cutters. Obviously there's no Deutz for Branding, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, yeah, there, it does do it a bit of a more of a ridiculous speed of 15 miles an hour compared to 10 miles an hour. But we can always restrict ourselves in doing that, just slow ourselves down with that. Uh, in fact, that's what we do is, because it's got the additional off-site additive in that, so 
that's an extra, what, 5% yield bonus we're getting from that, so... Maybe worth it, indeed. But then also, he has a few options where we can go with that. Or just go with your generic base game ones, or... He has a few options for us. Try to get all this grass picked up. There we go. Now we start cutting across. And yeah, this Swadro, that has been a lifesaver. Okay, don't get me wrong, there are times where it does do some weird clumps, like, example here. Go around this corner, it's not too clumpy, but as we do more and more passes, that will get more and more clumpy. Perhaps what we should do is go up and down on one side. And then just do that, swaths off that, but I do like the idea of just going around, no clockwise, yeah, do this clockwise, not anti clockwise. On this map, it's best to mow anti clockwise and with Swatch Road, do it clockwise. Swatch Road, because as you see here, it keeps everything together a lot easier. If you do it the other way around, anti clockwise, you will. When you go around in a circle, you will have gaps, and you will get all in one big old swath potentially. But that's down to you on that. But with the mode on anti clockwise, I have learned it is a lot easier doing it that way just because of the issues sometimes with the land boundaries. Like, the main contracts I've done in between the episodes, I have so many issues of it saying, oh, don't have access to said field. And we do, because we're working in that field, but it's something to do with the map boundaries, I think it's the field boundaries, but my little glimbles here and there. Also today we need to focus on getting the rest of our fields done and all that, so I think what we'll do is get us all mowed up. All of our equipment are here ready to go. Because, yeah, let's go and make some side spells, I think. to do is, as mentioned, we're guessing, sold those old bells, no, those bells to the old bather, and the wrapper. So now we can literally just go, like so.
So yeah, we're getting 180 centimeter bells. Yeah, so fast I can't even keep up. Yeah, see, it just wraps it quickly. Wraps it quickly. Kicks on the ground. Nothing wrong with that. these bigger battles we can keep these for the cows. That's what we're gonna do this here is all the slightage is gonna be kept for the cows. So we're at French Grand now. Yeah I have to try to think what to do money wise. Still think best thing is just use it to get all the basic equipment we need. Get yeah, additional land, and yeah, brilliant, but there's no guarantees on that. Uh, so, yeah, how much have we got at least at the moment? So, yeah, cedar, plow, roller, furs, spreader, and I just need to remind myself how much was the cedar. Well, we'll go with this one because actually I didn't realise this can direct drill. So you have to go with that, that's a hundred and four grand. The roller, you're looking at under forty one, so I'll draw it in forty two or oh, hundred and forty five. Trying to think what else we need. Mulchers. Suits. Tempted by something like that. So you must have to that two hundred grand. Or if it goes six meters, hundred and seventy five. And also we need a herbicide sprayer. So how much is that gonna be? Eighty grand, so that's gonna take most of our money we've got here. But at least we should just have enough money to do what we need to do. And also we've got a bunch of Zuri we can sell. Zuri manure, roughly getting for about £100 per thousand litres. That is a pretty sick price, that is, in fairness. It yeah, has a possibility. Hey mates, I'm going to finish the rest of this, get the rest of the slice done, and then we'll meet back afterwards to go to Kalenny.
and there we go, that is the side spells done. And that is 112 side spells we managed to do there from all of those fields, so I'm actually quite glad for that. So that is gonna be five four four of those and a partial load. Almost a full fifth no, five four of those and almost a full sixth load of these, so man, that's gonna be a lot of silage. Where do we store these? I haven't thought <laughs> Yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll do a bunch of signage and that, and yeah, how not full on where to store these. Whoopsie, a little bit of a uh, bum there. Me, I think we should store them somewhere in the shed for now, until we find somewhere more of a long term storage, but. Squeeze through the gate. And actually, whilst we're here, is that a water field point? Yes, it is. But we start, do need to start cleaning our equipment. So, what I'm going to do is go to the tools quickly. And we'll get the card sure, pressure washer. Because, yeah, these is getting quite filthy now. Well, I mean, the odor now, I'm not too fussed about keeping that all clean. Well, just keeping all the joints now. Free of any dirt and that, so it doesn't cause any corrosion or risking damage to the bowl with bits of crap, you know, bits of dirt or rockets in there. There we go. That's a lot better. I'll wash the milk tanker as well. But yeah, that is 15,000 litres of milk in there at the moment. The plan for that is really just to give it to the calves as food. To me, start looking at TMR, but actually, how big are these bells? 7,500 litres. That is. Over three quarters of a million, almost like 850,000 litres of size we've got here. Definitely would be a struggle to get all that into the pit if you've done the forge wagon way. That's ten bells there from these two fields. Of course, the main ones is from the bigger fields and that, so we'll get perhaps the rest, the other 15 or the 14. From the other field around the corner. I think to get to that, we had to go yeah, to the main road and then turn right. But yeah, the money is like getting chickens in. As we are in November, we can still plant wheat to that, unless we do a spring wheat. Because I think if we plant it in the spring, I think it'll be ready till September, so that's going to be the problem. We'll keep it to the time scale we are on at the moment. I'm going to get all that done in this episode, surely not. Let's get it for the gate post. Ugh, come on. There we go. Come on, get through. Close gate. But you know what? We're just gonna sell it. Okay. There we go. Get my equip back from that. I'll shut up. But yeah, I think if we get the rest of these done today, get these all picked up, then start looking at plowing a lot of our fields because we have a look on the, over here okay this look at these plowing so it's just 63 68 and 67 and these plowing 
So that ain't gonna be too bad for us. Because we still want to work on getting that environmental score up. Also, we can start looking at putting Surrey application on our grass fields as well. Put some like liquid gold down. Well, actually, there was that big Surrey spreader. I wasn't really going to buy it or anything, but what's we'll the look at it in that? Could we lease in that? So I do have some other options in that, such as the Fiegel Polyline A500 or 18500. That does it 14.8 meters. But yes, this one here. That does a. Oh no, we're going to need one of those. I think we'll rather go something like that. May lease it first of all, just to see how we work and get along with it. There's also just a rush I was getting all the equipment bought now. Things like the herbicide spray, yes we're going to buy that, because we'll point these in it now. But the other equipment, we've got these out ready. Still utilize that before we have to buy anything. And that is 24 size bells there. But man, this is going to be a lot of work for us, so... You know what? Let's go find some sorties, and then after that... I think what I'm going to do is do the rest off camera, get them offloaded up somewhere. Nah, they won't fit that shit there. We need to find the shed to put these in. Perhaps the one where the header trailer is. Because we do want to keep these dry in that. Dang it, there's those bags in the way. Around front loader a sec. And whilst we still got that big bag handler over here, let's just use that a sec. So we can strap those bags on. And move them out of the way. So let's head over here. Four bags we've got there, so there we go. No one to grab all four. No four. What well, that would do, so. Wait on, but oh well. Shove this there for now. Put the front loader there. Yeah, I doubt I'm gonna get all this in here, but should get most of it in. And then we've got sheds over there and that, so we do have options in that for our resorties, so. Possibly free, and it's just finding space for the rest. So, yep, yeah. what I'll do is, and then I'll see you folks in a few moments. I should know, I should a few seconds. 
And there we go. So yeah, got all the side spells over, and actually it was four for those and the fifth partial loot. Not five and six, but anyway, so we're gonna go over here to get the last of the tier not TMR signage. That is loose loaded up. Cows are right for food for now, but getting prepared for tomorrow and over the winter and that. So yeah, I got one two, three, four, four of those there, well, the one on the left ain't as full because we did take some of it out, just because it was sticking out the shelter a little bit, but the amount of size we've got here is plenty enough for us, so, what we need to do is just take this over here, So I want to go and pick up some of this signage. And this time we don't have any weird steering issues, thankfully. There we go. And yeah, yeah, we do have to buck in that, which we didn't use that sign, but... We don't need it right now, so this could just fill up whenever. Obviously for the calves, we'll give them milk, ideally. Or do we sell the milk? When's a good time for milk? Go up to prices. So slightly, best time to sell them is wait a little bit longer, but we may sell what we've got spare now. Our milk is around 2000 now. It does peak in January though, so. By Spring Mart. Or at the dairy. You know what? We can wait another month or two. Or well, two months actually. To sell that. But, anyways, we've got a little size here 19 bells to be exact. I remember these are bigger ones compared to what we've done previously, so I think if we take these to the BJ and sell them, and actually I didn't realise can actually just reverse into the sell point at the BJ, and it will be fine. Rather than have to manually do it in, but you know what that makes my life a hell of a lot easier. So with this extra cash, we can get all the equipment we need. And really, if we can go for another piece of land, that would be ideal, but... As much as I want like, Field 61, a massive grass field next to us. It may be worth going for the small fields up northwest of the map. Or oh, sorry, northeast. Just because it's a higher... It's more of a fertile soil up there. But yeah, we can have a look at that in a sec. Because we need to look at how many grain crops we've planted. So I may do one more grain field, possibly. Oh yeah, I did say we were thinking about doing it on one of the upper fields, didn't we? So we can start doing that. But yep, so it means we'll turn around. There we go. Let's get that unloaded. And we have to see how much money we can get from this. Okay, so this time it's not taking the spells. It did it during the contract, so why not now? Why? It's right in the cell point. Ah, uh, bear with me a sec. Looks like we do have to manually do these in. We go. So first, those slice bells going in. 
or not. Okay, what is going on here? These are... Ah, these are grass bells, aren't they? They're meant to be fermented. Right? That's why they're not being accepted. Yep, 5% fermented, that's why. Oh well. Well, all suddenly, this time tomorrow, we'll see a lot of money coming in. Oh, I can't believe that. But anyway, since we're down to shop anyways, might be worth going to get the fertilizer spreader. 52 grand on that, or... And you know what I think we'll go with... Something like one of these. So the tank... Since it's like Deutz for a farm... Let's keep up with that theme, shall we? I think if we keep the tank white... And that, so... Bit of spot spraying. Oh, that's a bit of a feed there. And the same with that. Deutz for a green and white. At least now we can go and pick up our new herbicide equipment. So what we're going to do is just pop you there, go to the shop and grab our new herbicide equipment. And there we go, return to the farm. And after having a bit of a think about it, I think the best place to plant one more grain which I'm thinking oats, because we're already doing oats so far, so I might as well do oats. Once more, it is in 62, because I have some sandy loam, I think it is. Yeah, some sandy loam, so majority of that field is more fertile compared to the others, like 63 and that. And the hills are be just too much for... Down. Yeah, that'll be just too much for uh, the combine to do and manage. Now, because it has a gearbox issue as it is already, so we don't really do any more to it. So, okay, that's facing that way. There we go. Let's get you hooked up. So it is 63, 68, and 67. So you know what? I think we'll start with 67. Actually, also does the fields have lime? Yeah, we could wait actually to do those fields later on because grass is still growing and then we can get that cut in March and then put a spring wheat in there or heck even like spring barley or even oats as well. I'm still harvest that in September so I think that's what we'll do instead, but I think, yeah, 63, we'll still go ahead and plow 63. So I do want to keep majority of these fields as grass fields for the time being, just so that we can have enough silage for the cows. And then we can base on what we get here, 
to how to deal with it long term. We were going Palace up. Yeah, it's just technically our cow field in that, so. Certainly here. This would be nice, and. Actually, you know what? Cows can come in here if they want to, so rather than have to get shut out all the time. Oh no. I'll shut that first of all, so. Pop over the gate. There we go, another night. Quit there. So then back to fields then. Just go ahead and create our field as we see fit. Back, make sure you get everything. Can't go missing the edges now. Much as I'm tempted to put a crop in this field. Yeah, it may be worth it. So, you know what? We're going to get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. The last bit of survey application of the way, as you see, we upgraded the survey tank. And actually, do need direct seeding, ideally. So, you know what? I'm going to unload those. I am going to return this. And what else? Actually, you know what? We can buy the plow now, so. 
So what I'm going to do is go to seeders because I do want to get this seeded today. But we'll do this in the next episode. So yeah. It does have fertilizer as an option. Sure, go with all that. So that needs solid fertilizer. And then let's go to the shop and put some fertilizer in these. That is 3,000 litres of fertilizer, so this will take 4,000 litres of seed. So, yeah, this will give us an application actually straight away of fertilizer. And then, once it starts growing, we can put whatever it needs left. But hopefully, you should just do it all in one go. Put the that amount of fertilizer it needs in, the amount of nitrogen it all needs. But yeah, so we're gonna do this now. Once the certain application has been put down onto that grass field, we will power it up. I should know it's done. I should this thing's gonna buy the power spell could have attached to the front of this. Actually, what is the horsepower requirement for this? So, oh, two seventy. Definitely gonna need the bigger one that has as close to the horsepower requirement of any tractor. I think. Yeah, the seven series has two fifty. So we are slightly underpowered, but needs must at the end of the day. Traffic move out of the way. There we go. And up the lane. But yes, yeah, still by that plow now as well, so we're under plows. Keep with theme, Deutsch for green. That's 19.5. And despite all that money we had at the start of the episode doing all those contract works, we're only down to 41 grand. Get you hooked up, ready for the next episode to do some herbicide application at least. There we go. Pretty much all the nitrogen. So have a look at that. So some of it's got 80 kilograms, but the majority's got 40 to 60. So yeah, fruit 5, 25, 20. A bit of variety, but. Obviously this is just only for grass and that, so the actual amount of fertilizer it would require will vary. Because obviously we need to put oats in that field. So there we go, go up here. But yeah, so the fertilizer, or the sur tank here, is bigger. An extra 10,000 litres, about half a metre or so less working width, but in fairness, how you can make all that difference. But, anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it today. So, the next time we will finish off getting all the scene done, put whatever line that needs down. Actually, we should have put line on that field over there. And alright then, the little correction error had to be made because I had the game crash. But anyways, we got on there, pretty much redone everything, may have done a few extra bits, so I can't remember, so 
all the fields that need to be ploughed are ploughed, including this field here, which did need a little bit of ploughing. Apparently, I missed some bits, but anyways, we'll start seeding this, and that's going to be our oak fields to match the other fields. But yeah, so next time, what we've got to do is finish any application of Surrey that is needed. Also, I want to look into selling our Surrey, so... Just make sure we clear a tree there. In theory, we should just go... Yeah, we are seeding this, right? Yep. And if you have a look at that, nitrogen is perfect. pH, not so much. So that should maybe worth... Well, I'll do it after this field, but with the other fields, we'll get the fertilizer spreader and start spreading some lime on all the fields that need an adjustment in our pH levels, but that shouldn't take too long, especially with the work with of the fertilizer spreader. But anyway, so that is where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.